looking for some sauce that's not quite your usual, stay tuned because I promise you I got the perfect fix. What it do, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Swag with your girl, Lady Swag. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Bandulu Chuck High 70. Uh, colorway for this one is the Cappuccino Base. But of course, before I get into the shoes, I always like to hit you guys with a little bit of knowledge on the shoe itself. So the designer for this shoe is Pat Pelche. He is actually known for imitating silk embroidery on his shoes, where it will look like paint splatter, but it's actually stitched into whatever his canvas is now typically his canvas uh consists of vintage blanks so he might work on like vintage louis vuitton and things like that um, his inspiration comes from combining luxury with cynical fashion how cool is that collaboration um he also began just by um kind of working on updating or upgrading vintage pieces uh, other collaborations he's had besides converse uh, would be with nike which is also a part of converse so he's done a couple of Nike SB Dunks, as well as some Air Force Ones. He's worked with Louis V uh, Monogram and Champions as well. So he's got quite a bit in his art repertoire. But enough of that, a little less talking, a lot more walking. Let's go ahead and jump into this box. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is the box. So the box says Bandulu across the front. And as you can see, it's designed to look like a shipping box that's made out of wood. So it's got wood planks all the way around. So you got wood right there, wood right here, wood right there. Um, on this side, you got a converse in very light lettering. You flip it around right here. You've got the up arrows like you will see on like the old school wooden shipping cartons. And then you've got the handle with care. Now on the inside, it's where the true prize lies. So funny story about these. I really started not to even cop these because I was convinced that brown and pink would just would not look good together. Like even when I had seen the images online, I was like, ah, I don't think I'm a, I'm a really like them. But my thing was, I was like, I'll order them. Worst case scenario, if I don't like them, I can resell them later. So I went ahead and ordered them and I ordered, I think three, I want to say three, Three or four, four. I ordered four different other pairs of shoes, so please believe I'll definitely have some more content that I'll be pushing out for you guys soon. Um, but out of the whole box, this was one of my favorite ones. Now, I ordered this from SNS.com, sneakers and stuff. You can absolutely go on to sneakers and stuff, check out what they have. Not only did sneakers and stuff have a lot of the sneakers that I had been looking for, but they had them at a discounted rate. So not only did I get some heat that I had been out on the hunt for, but I got the heat for the low. So first thing we're gonna cover are the splatters. Now remember, a lot of his work is famous because he does the splatter patterns, but it's actually embroidered. So I didn't know that until I pulled the, the shoe out the box. I thought it was just like regular paint that they had splattered on the shoe. And you know, initially I was like, I can make that. Well, plot twist, I can't make this because it's sewn into the shoe. So everything you guys see here, every single splatter pattern that you see on the shoe is stitched in every single thing if you go to the to the tongue of the shoe you've got bandulu stitched in across the tongue the laces are somewhere between like a lavender and a pink it's a really weird looking color but it, it works really well for this sneaker um around the the racing stripe that we got up top here it's in like a um a nice like tan brown type color I'm trying to zero in on that so you guys can see it now what you see here on the, the canvas towards the bottom, as you can see, I've worn them. Got a little, a little stuff on the bottom. Uh, as you can see here, the, the rubber around the bottom does have splatter on it, and that is paint. That is not embroidered. It would be kind of weird if they embroidered that into the rubber sole of a Converse. I don't think I would like that. So thank y'all for not doing that. But yeah, it's just like random little paint splatters here. Same thing on the side here. You got a couple of paint splatters there on the rubber part and then on this side I love it because this super thick line right here 
the embroidery is just beautiful. You got tons of different colors in here. You got your greens, you got your golds, you got your blues, you got um, like a little bit of silver, slight pink up top, and then the Converse All-Star logo is also embroidered as well. Now, if we flip around to the back, this is literally the part that just almost made me not get it. I have my girly moments, but I'm not a girly girl to where I want pink a lot like that. So when I saw the 70s tag done in pink, I was kind of like, oh, why couldn't they have just done that in brown? But once I got the shoe out the box and I saw everything, how it was pieced together, it all came together really nicely. Uh, the bottom of the sneaker, we got some goodies under here, just gonna take those off real quick, is pink with white polka dots, yo. <laughs> I freaking love the bottom of the sneaker. Now, when it comes to Converse, there aren't too many sneakers that I really care about the bottom of, unless we're talking about um, your Sailor Jerry Converse, where they have the images of the lady at the bottom. I really like those. So typically, only something with the bottom having a design on it appeals to me. Um, on the interior, can I pull this out? I can, I can remove the insole. Uh, insole kind of looks like corkboard. And then it just has the word Bandulu written on it. Now I will tell you when it comes to Converse, one thing their shoes are not known for are comfort. So I'm really, really happy with the fact that over the past couple of years, Nike has really stepped up their game with making sure that they did things to make this a comfortable shoe. So um, this is one of the few pair of Chuck Taylor 70s I have. I love the, the 70s. It's really just the, the heel tag for me that stands out on the 70s, the one that they did in pink here because it's so different. But um, this is by far one of the most comfortable pair of Chucks that I have. And you know, I always like to compare and contrast one shoe for another just to see if there are any differences. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. Splatters are definitely different on the right shoe. So this was the left shoe that I just showed you guys. Sit that down for a second. So we'll come over to the, the right shoe for a bit. Now the right shoe, he went crazy on this one. He went crazy. Thank you, Pat Pelche. I, I like what he did there. Like, he dead ass just went crazy on the design. So you got some purple, got a little pink. Um, You have your dark gray, and then you have like a lighter gray, almost like a platinum color. This right here is, let me zoom in so you guys can see. We got some gold right here. And then as you see, you got a little gold right here. And again, all of this is embroidered. Every single bit of this is, sti is stitched into the shoe, which is amazing. Got your splatter patterns right here. Still got your pink heel tag at the back. So the heel tag, I know you guys can't see it that well because my lighting, but it's got the one big star in the center, the two small stars on the side. It has Chuck on one side, Taylor on the other, and Converse All-Star on the other side. Eh, sorry, I'm gonna give y'all the best I can with that, but yeah. Should have filmed during the day, but I waited till I got home. But nonetheless, moving on to the other side of the shoe. Uh, we've got the gold stitching up here. Uh, some navy blue, which I really like because that blue is tying very well into the star in the, uh, the Converse All-Star logo right here. So, splat stuff. And then they got kind of like that bluish purple color going on right here. So it's got the little bluish purple, little bluish purple right here. Got some more silver and whatnot. Um, racing stripes and everything is the same. Still got your brown going around all around the edge of the shoe. So that's what's up. Laces are the same. Uh, you got your splatter patterns on the other side of the sneaker as well. So loving that. And then, yep, same, same. You got the pink heel tag right here. And I didn't cover this this part, the little uh, racing stripe off the back, but it feels like a um, almost like a, a canvas, kind of a burlap sack is what it feels like. And it's got that same kind of brown. So I really like that. Uh, still got bandulu on the tongue. Now, in case you didn't get to see it too well the first time, it's got blue and then it's outlined with some purple on that. Bottom of the shoe is the same. You got your pink sole with the polka dots on it. But yeah, again, I just ordered uh, five different shoes. These are one of five. I'm not gonna give y'all all the heat at once because I don't want to overwhelm you with the heat, but just know I've got a couple more reviews coming up from what I unboxed. Again, if you're looking to cop these, you can visit snssneakersandstuff.com. Check it out. Uh, again, last time I went, I was able to find a couple of sneakers I wanted and they were on sale. They had quite a few different Converse along with some other shoes. So 
I will say for these shoes, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5. I cannot believe I'm giving this shoe a 5 out of 5. I did not think that the brown and pink was going to look good. I didn't think it at all, but I mean, it looks good. They feel good. They're very comfortable. I mean, <laughs> this is a fire sneaker. This is this is definitely going to going to be one that I rock quite a bit for sure. I don't say that about many sneakers, but I really like these. I'm going to rock these quite a bit. Um, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, until then, I will catch you guys next time on another episode of Daily Swag with your girl, Lady Swag. Till then, be easy, all right?